And this question is for Deputy McMahill. Deputy, what is it like to be a member of law enforcement right now? Well, I have to tell you, I'm, I'm one of the lucky ones. Um, as I listen to the first question, I have to tell you that part of the reason we're here today is that unfortunately and tragically, in some cases across our nation, police departments are not created equal. Um, here at LVMPD, I do believe that we do things to a different standard and we have for some time now. I'm not saying there are, there are things that we can't get better at. Um, we're always looking and striving to be better, but the community as a whole has the right to, to really count on three things from any police department that serves them. The first is truly partnering with them. Uh, we, and we do so much here, but I'll just touch on one of the, the most important recently, which is the Sheriff's Multicultural Advisory Board. This is a board that isn't just in place as a figurehead. They're not in name only. They actually help us write our use of force policies. Um, they've, they've helped us change policies and drive them forward. And so we try not to do anything without truly being a partner with those people that deserve to have input. The second thing is transparency. And across the country, I think what we see is a true lack of transparency. Um, we, we live it here. Uh, you, and anyone that lives in this community realizes that after every officer involved shooting, for example, within a matter of hours, you get a first briefing on scene. Within 72 hours, a member of command staff comes before the community and gives an abundance of information. But the last piece is accountability. And that's really, I think, a lot of the outcry that we're seeing when people are asking for reform. And we really do our best to hold our folks accountable. And again, what a lot of people don't know is we have a use of force board that has four citizen members that sit on that board that actually outvote the three commissioned officers that are voting members of that board. And so I think that those three, those three areas are things that across the country people need to demand from their police departments. Deputy, thank you so much. And thanks again for everyone for joining us.